In next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to create a new document. Let's take invoice as an example, but remember, this is applicable to almost all document types. Ordinary way of creating a new document is to select a related personal account and the information about this selected personal account will be displayed. The document number is auto run according to your setting. If you have maintained more than one document format, you can actually select the format. Look at the row of buttons here. The first button is with a plus sign. This is to add a new detail row. Let's add a new detail row and click on another one to add a new detail row. To select your item, you may actually type in the item code or you can actually type in name of the item. For example, I type SAM so the item will be listed. This is the description. Further description is maintained in your item maintenance and this will print on your document. You need a measurement, the quantity you may change, the quantity, unit price is according to your item maintenance, you may change as well. And the discount, we'll talk about that later, and the subtotal. The next button is to insert a detail row for the highlighted row. For example, I highlight this row and I click on insert. So there is a new blank detail row inserted. This button is to remove a highlighted row. This button is to move up and this button is to move down. This is undo the movement. You may select a multiple row by using the control button on your keyboard or you may click on this button to select all detail rows. This button is to change the highlighted rows. For example, I may want to change the quantity of all the rows to 4 and you see the quantity column is now updated. Highlight a detail row and you can click on show instant info to show the instant info of the highlighted row. The information show will be price history of this item, the stock balance, stock item info, the aging of the customer that you have selected, and the item replacement if there's any. Click on show footer to show the footer. Observe that there is a checkbox here. After save, proceed with the new invoice. Now if you check this checkbox, the system will prompt you a new blank invoice after you save. There is a very useful button here we call item search. You may click on this button or you may press F9 button on your keyboard. You may key in the keyword here to search for the item. So you may just click on search to list out all the items. You may select uh, several items here and click on OK. Another way to create a new document is to transfer from other documents. It is actually advisable to transfer from other document type if it is available. This is to maintain the accuracy of the outstanding document report. For example, I have created the DO. Now I want to transfer from a DO. In transfer, you have either full document transfer, you transfer a whole document or documents, or you can transfer actually partially from any of the documents. For example, I may want to transfer the whole document from DO008 and click on OK. Now look at the edit menu. Here you can actually to copy the whole document or any selected detail rows to a clipboard and then you may paste the copy documents or the selected rows to another new document, any document type. Or you can copy from other invoices if there's any or copy current invoice to a new document. Alternatively, I may also create a new document by referring to the past records. It's called data entry by past sales records. This will show the items transacted with this customer, with the quantity and the pricing. I may also use this screen to advise my customer on what to buy. For example, I may say, okay, for item A, I may advise them, let's say you take another five units, and uh, for this one, the three units, for this item, four units. Click on OK, and it's already filled. As for discount, I may want to pull out another column. Let's say discount amount, put it here. 
Let's say I put in the discount 5 means to discount 5 ringgit. If I put 5%, that means it's discount by 5%. Now if I put 5% plus 5%, that means it's 2 level discount. I may also carry on plus another 10% and you can keep going on for multi-level discounts. If I put 5 plus 5%, that means I am giving 5 ringgit discount and then after that will be another 5%. There is a discount button here to add a discount row by putting in the discount for example 5%. Description is discount 5% and click on OK. There will be a discount row here and it's actually a group discount from a total here. Another way of creating a new document is by just drag and paste. For example, let's open an uh, existing document that I want to copy from and a new empty document. Okay, this is the new document that I want to create. I'm going to copy from this existing document. Now what I need to do is just uh, click on the header part of the existing document and drag onto the uh, new document and release the button. See, the document is being copied. That's all for the common layout of document entry.